Good morning, my Sagittarians. Welcome to your bonus read. I apologize it wasn't done yesterday, but it was intentional for a reason. I wanted to isolate you guys away from the Leo and Taurus. A lot of times when you do a reading back to back to back, it tends to be one big story. So for instance, if you were only a Taurus, and they didn't watch Leo, they're almost missing out because it's it's just an extended reading into the next. There's some reason I felt the need to do your reading different just so that doesn't happen because I have a feeling it's a completely different message. So I needed enough time. So you were the highest viewed sign, I do apologize. And if I did yours, then I would have had to do two more today on top of the Zodiac. So it just works um, as time efficiency. So, um, yeah. So thank you for being the top viewed highest sign last week, Sag. I love you guys. I really, truly do. I appreciate each and every one of you, all the likes, subscribes, the comments. I really do appreciate you guys. And I want you to know that I have Tara, the mystical moments for the main deck. I have wheel of fortune for the clarifying deck and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. I hope the mic is okay. You are the sign that has the most mic problems. I could do your sign and that happens quite often. Even last week I could do your sign and right away I could do another sign and they don't. I don't know what that is. It's it's like an energy thing or something here. So I apologize. I'm hoping the mic is fine because it was fine all day yesterday and then we'll see with your reading. I'm almost ready to just to be micless because I've tried probably 12 mics at this point. So um, all right, so I have an eight of wands and I have a four of pentacles. You know what I got with the Eight of Wands when I was shuffling? Well, even before I saw the Eight of Wands, I was shuffling and I got the REO Speedwagon, It's Time For Me To Fly. And I don't know, I haven't heard that song in a long time, but I just really got that strongly. So I wasn't surprised when I put the cards together and flip it over, it's an Eight of Wands. And doesn't that look like you're about ready to fly? Look at that, Two of Swords reverse, making, that, making your mind up, you know? And you have a Page of Pentacles reverse here and a Six of Pentacles. And I feel like you gave your best to, a, oh, there's Knight of Wands reverse too and a King of Pentacles reverse. It's like you you gave your best to a situation and got nothing. I, I don't even wanna say very little. I feel like you just got nothing back for all your efforts. So Page of Pentacles reverse is kind of shutting the door. Two of Swords making your mind up and I feel like you're ready to fly, ready to try something new. You're tired of hitting your head against the wall in a certain situation. Four of Pentacles over here, Seven of Wands reverse. And a Four of pen. I feel like this is that other energy. The Seven of Wands reverse can be somebody not letting you in. And Four of Pentacles, it feels like somebody, it could be they're holding on to something that is gone themselves, or they're trying to get someone else back or something back. Or they're just so, it's a mind. They're so afraid somebody's gonna take something from them take, you know, run away with their heart, run away with their money, whatever it is. But I see a six of cups reverse here and I feel like somebody's holding on to an X to be honest. So let's see where this is going, Sagittarius. All right, my dears, it's an extended read. So get comfortable, grab your a favorite adult beverage and let's get going. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sag. If you are a Sag, know a Sag feel like being a Sag. Sagittarians, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sag in this resonates or you can be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story and Sagittarius can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Sag or for a Sag. Take it as it resonates. General energy for the Sagittarians, collect the messages. What is the storyline that needs to come out today? What is the storyline that needs to come out today? What is it? The storyline that needs to come out today. Let's pull that nine of swords. I, you know what? That card literally on this deck fell out onto the floor and I saw it and I threw it back in and shuffled. I didn't think too much about it, but here we are the nine of swords again. What's influencing the nine of swords? It feels like worry, overanalyzing, thinking too much, can't get someone out of your energy or off your mind. What's influencing the nine of swords? What's influencing the nine of swords for the Sagittarians? What is it? The Five of Pentacles being on the outside looking in. It's not a great energy, both of them. These are two energy, two cards you really want reversed. It's being on the outside looking in. Somebody, I feel like here's your Page of Pentacles right here that we saw that was reversed. And it's like, no matter who you are, it seems like not enough for somebody else. Let's see, that's Taurus and Gemini here. What's the reason for the reading? 
What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for Sagittarians? Two of Wands probably making a decision, but I don't know what on the tower it wants to come out. Also, the full reverse. Look at those two majors right there. And I see the Page of Pentacles strength reverse want to come out too. I just feel like you're really starting, you're taking your power back from a scenario. What's in the past? What's in the past for the Sagittarians? What's in the past for the Sagittarians? That make it two of wands reverse. I feel like somebody, you know what? A no decision is a decision. I really feel like that somebody, like you're waiting on a decision and I feel silence. I feel like, I don't feel like somebody's being straightforward with you, to be honest. I feel like you're holding on to someone who's holding on to someone else. That's what I feel. And that's Aries over there. What is on Sagittarian's mind? What is on Sagittarian's mind? The Four of Swords, pulling yourself back. Libra and energy, getting you back. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for the Sag? What is in the near future for the Sagittarians? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? Five of Wands reverse Leo energy. You don't want to play this game anymore. You don't. You just feel like somebody is controlling the outcome, controlling the board. And I feel like you're not, I really feel like you're giving up the fight and pulling yourself back. You're not fighting for this connection anymore because you're the only one fighting for it. How do Sagittarians see themselves right now? How do the Sagittarians see themselves right now? How do the Sagittarians see themselves right now? Queen of Cups reverse sad. I get sad. Because I feel like you're still invested in someone who's just not returning it. What's the energy coming in you don't see coming to influence this? What's the energy coming in? The big surprise factor for Sagittarians they don't see coming. What is the energy coming in? Sagittarius don't see coming. What is the energy coming in the Sagittarians don't see coming? What is it? What is it? I really wanted to pick uh, the card, but for some reason, I felt the need to pick these cards. Okay. King of Pentacles reverse. Give me one more card because I don't feel like that's you. Actually, in a way it does. If this is going down at work, I feel like you might be out of there. What's the energy? What is the energy you don't see coming? What is the energy you don't see coming? And the Six of Cups. I'm just... This one and this one are usually tied together. There's a, a big runner chaser here. And the thing is, is I have, I'm getting a strong feeling where there's a Sagittarius that really thinks they've gone crazy, where they feel like they have imagined this connection because you're not getting very much back. There's something this person's doing to keep you there, but you can't see it. So you're almost thinking, am I making this up? Do they, I thought they had feelings. This isn't, this, this is the tie right here. The King of Pentacles reverse and the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is upright because the connection is, is there. It's, it's, and I feel like I'm speaking to such an intuitive stage that if, when you really feel something, you don't need to see something to believe it. You just believe it. You're dealing with somebody who needs to see something first. And a King of Pentacles reverse though, is somebody who can't really give you what you want, but they feel so connected to you. And as soon as you start to pull back, they're coming in. It's like all of a sudden their thought that used to be on someone else is now on you. So in a way, I feel like somebody's trying to pull your connection back into the game. But I do feel almost a permanent giving up the game here. Okay, what are in your emotions? What are in Sagittarians' emotions? What are in Sagittarians' emotions? Emotions. 
Because what I feel, what I feel here is, it's not just saying, hey, I, I, and I don't even know if you're, you would have a conversation about it. Some people would say, well, okay, well, let's just remain friends. This isn't working out. I feel you're doing a complete cutoff and this person doesn't want to live without your energy, but they don't want to have to actually put anything on the line to have you there. You're changing the rules of the game and they don't like it. What is, what are in Sagittarian's emotions? What are in Sagittarian's emotions? That's right, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles reverse. You know, and I know you're the Knight of Wands, but we adopt these energies all the time. The Queen of Pentacles is a very independent energy. She really doesn't need a King of Pentacles. She really doesn't. She herself will be the King. Um, and if this is somebody who knows their worth, and they don't really have time to worry about the things they can't control. So in your emotions, you know down the line, if this isn't working out for you, just something better is coming in. I feel like you're a very, probably a very optimistic Sag. And even though you want this, you're not gonna waste any more time dealing with somebody who's not gonna, who's dealing with somebody else, or they just don't feel like you need to be a priority. And a queen says, you know what, you just do you. I, I, I'm out. I'm done. I'm not playing this anymore. Okay, what is the outcome here? The Seven of Swords. This, see this outcome is this. This person's going to come in all flowery and shit, but they're still, it's still a snaky energy. I don't feel like this person has your interests at heart at all. I really don't. You got a Ten of Cups and a Justice Reverse and a Three of Swords. Three of Cups reverse. I feel like you're cutting out a third party. This definitely feels like a third party, maybe a fourth party. Hell, so for some of you, it can even be a fifth party. But this is something where you are just, you you don't want this anymore. You, you just don't want this anymore. You really are changing the rules of this player's game. You really are. Sometimes I, I can really feel somebody's like not wanting to hurt someone else. I just feel like this person doesn't care who gets hurt as long as they get theirs. And say, I just like, you know what? I'm not about that anymore. I'm really not. Okay, king, or I was gonna say king of swords. That would be nice. A nine of swords here in the center of the reading. Gemini energy. And the nine of swords is also a card worried about what people think. I feel like somebody's putting you out in the cold in their energy because they are worried about what people think. For whatever reason. Maybe you're different races. Maybe you come from different backgrounds. Maybe this this person's worried about what other people think about this connection. They're not worried about you. They're not worried about your investment or your future. They're worried about what people think of them. That, by definition, is a King of Wands reverse. And right next to it is Leo's Five of Wands reverse. And the fact that they're so worried about what people think over your unhappiness at a situation is the reason why... I, I, I really feel it's the reason why you're walking away. So we have the strength card on the nine of swords. Somebody's holding on tight, I feel, to something out of their grasp. I really feel like this person's holding on to someone who may not even be faithful to them. And you're tired, you're just tired of it. What's the five of pentacles? You got the Seven of Swords, the Three of Pentacles reversed, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, just like the outcome is a Seven of Swords, here we have the Seven of Swords here, and it's getting away from a situation. What is it? A Three of Pentacles reversed and an Ace of Cups reversed. There's somebody who's emotionally unavailable, definitely feels like a third party, and they're they're not wanting to build here because they're trying to they're trying to fill somebody else's cup up that I don't even feel like that person even wants. That's the strange thing. It's like you're chasing somebody who's chasing someone else, who's probably chasing someone else. Okay, what is the tower? Reason for the reading. Uh, Scorpio energy. What is the tower doing here? Ten of Pentacles. You know what, Sag? You know your worth. The queen is making a ten, is creating a ten. Is, is, if the queen is going to chase anything, it's, their, it's, it's making their dreams a reality. It's cultivating a ten of pentacles. And that three of pentacles reverse tells me this person pulled you off a path, wasted your time, not a, maybe not a whole lot of time, but some of your time. And you're saying, you know what? I need to pivot. I need to change direction. And I f really feel like this tower is you bringing, bringing uh, leveling the playing field. And I'm telling you, I don't think this player likes it. 
I think they thought you would never leave. I think they, th they still think you're coming back. And you're saying all my focus is on is my stability, is on my wealth, is on my happiness, and on my health. And it's not on this anymore. Okay, what is, okay, two of wands reverse. Eight of swords reverse in the empress, exactly. This is who they're chasing. This is what I feel. Eight of swords reverse is somebody not worried. They're, this person is not worried about this. I mean, this is a very specific read. I just feel like in the past, they made a decision. It's like the more whoever this empress is in their life, the more they don't want them, the more they're trying to chase them. Now, here's the kicker. I feel, I just feel like a circle, like a dog chasing his tail. Some of you Sagittarians are gonna say, hey, this was my story three years ago. This was my story eight months ago. Guess what? That empress is now you. Because now you are the person that doesn't want, want this energy. And I feel like you've replaced whoever they once were chasing. This person lives in the past. They look backwards for, for validation. And so, of course, you can't get validated from something you no longer have. And the Sag is like, you know what? I'm bowing out. My emotions is high vibrational. That means I'm ready to attract something, a king and above. But that means also I feel like your snake's trying to make a, a way in here. Okay. What is, and I also want to say if you're, if this happened to you like months ago, I actually feel reason for the reading is you're about to get a 10 of pentacles. So I feel like there's a reading and a reading here. I do feel like somebody's trying to make an entrance, but this queen of pentacles here, Capricorn energy is focused on long-term health, wealth, and stability, right? Not on the snake. That's why the snake has no chance because you don't even see the snake anymore. You eradicated your garden. You've lifted yourself so high, you can't pay attention to what's crawling around on, on the ground. You don't even care. So I feel like you're about ready to get your 10 of pentacles. There's some type of long-term payoff ready to come in here. All right, what is the four of swords on your mind, Sag? Libra energy, what is the four of swords on your mind? So I feel like I'm talking to different classifications of Sag where you are in this timeline. What is the Four of Swords? And the Six of Wands, success, happiness. And you take the six plus a four, you got a 10, right? And I feel like it's, you got your 10 of Pentacles here. I really feel like you're, you pivoted focusing on yourself and that is what brings in this, I really feel money. I do feel money here, but I feel like it's coming in the comeuppance of, of some type of work scenario because this is not eating up your energy anymore. And I wanna say that it was tearing down your self-esteem. You built yourself up so high so nobody can look down on you again. So I just feel like you're, this 10 of pentacles is ready to pay off. So, okay, didn't even ask the question yet. 501's reverse in the near future for Sag. What is that about, 501's reverse? Leo energy, 501's reverse in the near future. Yeah, Six of Swords reverse. You're not playing this person's game. I just feel you're actually untying yourself, cutting yourself free. I don't think they like it though. Queen, actually, I feel like that's what's hooking this player. What is the Queen of Cups reverse, how you see yourself? Queen of Cups reverse, pulling your cup back. Why the Queen of Cups reverse? And this, yeah, there it is. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Pentacles reverse, it feels like you wasted your time. Seven of Pentacles upright is should I stay or should I go card? When it's reversed, it's saying I'm, I'm going. I, it's time for me to fly, right? We have a three of Pentacles reverse here. We have a seven of Pentacles reverse here. And that leads to a 10 of Pentacles reverse. And you're saying, you know what? I'm a little pissed off because you've not only wasted my time, but you kept me from where I really needed to be. I am my own soulmate. I want. I, I don't need you to save me, but I also don't need you to waste my time and pull me off path. So I feel like there's a new alignment to where you really, I, I almost feel like something about this connection reignited a long lost passion of yours or some place you wanted to be or some somebody who you wanted to be, you know? And I just feel like there's this re, there's this, a, it's reigniting an old passion of yours. And Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles reverse energy coming in. Cancer and Taurus. And you know what's interesting with this when I look at it now that we had this storyline come out? I actually feel 
especially if you being a queen of pentacles upright in your emotions i feel like here's your king of cups it's 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 flipping okay I, what i'm saying is i feel like it's two separate energies what, why the six of cups the energy coming in sages don't see why the six of cups why the six of cups here seven of wands leo energy Gosh, I'm telling you, this person's fighting for this connection. You're trying to sever it and they're trying to patch it. I just see them gluing it up, taping, duct taping. They're like, no, 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 no. You're not ending this. Can't, because they like control. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who likes control. And you took your control back with the tower. King of Pentacles reverse the energy coming in. You don't see coming. What is that about? Are they, you know what? Maybe they're finally getting... Four, yeah. Ooh, Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, Reverse, the Hangman, Reverse. Somebody got away. This Queen got away. Four of Wands, Reverse. For some of you, this this is getting more convoluted, but this it's a King of Pentacles, Reverse. I feel like whoever this person's chasing, they cut them off, and now they're like in nowhere, no man's land, and you cut them off. And I feel like that is why you have the snake coming back to apologize to get you back. But what are they going to do about it? You know, because I feel like in your emotions as a queen of pentacles upright, that tells me you are not willing to accept a page of pentacles anymore. You're not what, what you were, you, what you were going to accept with this person no longer interests you. So you better come at Sag with, a, with something amazing because what they're about to have is a 10 of pentacles. And I don't know how you, honestly you beat a 10 of pentacles. I don't know how this person does, but hangman reverse on the four of ones reverse is letting an old ideology go and getting away and now we have a queen of cups upright with a queen of pentacles that's why i'm feeling like for some of you there has been some time spent because here over here it's a queen of cups reverse and a seven of pentacles reverse so we have two separate timelines going in definitely two separate timelines coming back so you are going to get a message of love but for some of you, don't be surprised if it's from an old and a new. I just don't feel like, especially if you're already at a Queen of Pentacles upright and a Queen of Cups upright, you're not dealing with anything old. I can tell you that. And anyone who comes in with something small is just, I don't even think you see it. It's not on your radar anymore. See, think of it as vibe, you know, frequencies. You change the channel and there was a time where you were brought down and I, I always feel when somebody, bring, their vibration is brought down, it's usually from a traumatic life event. Maybe you lost a loved one, you lost a job, there was some serious money issues. There was something destabilizing that brought you down there to see this person, the snake, whatever this low vibration energy is. But since then, you've raised yourself back up. So how are you supposed to see this? You're, you're, you're going to miss this. Of course, they see you, but you're not looking down anymore. You're only looking up. And you know what's up there? Your star, right? Your focus on your healing, on, on your growth. I want to say wealth. Whatever you're focused on, Sag, is exactly where your energy is going to go and grow and bring you. And that's why, look at that Ten of Pentacles on a tree over here. And I just feel like you're ready. To, you're, you're actually manifesting serious wealth. And you, I don't even know if you know that. Seven of Swords in the outcome. Aquarius energy. Why the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords in the outcome for Sag. Why the Seven of Swords in the outcome? Why the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords? I really want spirit... For some reason, it, I felt the need to pull your cards. Ten of Swords reverse and a Star reverse. What are you focused on? Here's the Fool, right? Then what did I say? You're focused on your growth, and I just feel reason for the reading is a Fool reverse. Outcome is a Fool upright. All this Aquarius energy, but now you got somebody in a Ten of Swords reverse and a Star reverse. And a Ten of Swords reverse is an energy where you just can't stop thinking of something. You can't get somebody out of your system and you can't have it. That's probably why they can't get you. If this is you, Sag, if you've already completed the cycle, this person is lost in your atmosphere and they don't, they can't, it's like they don't know where to go. They, 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 can't, they can't escape it. Um, and I feel like Sag is really focused on their star. 
And I'm telling you, you're focused on this. So I don't know where some of you Sagittarians are going to still be heartbroken, hold, finally ready to let go. Let me tell you, let me give you what the year is about to bring. Um, and into next year is a 10 of Pentacles because you are going to fight for yourself the way you used to fight for these connections. You're going to start fighting for your independence, be maybe financially independent, be debt free, have your own house. Oh, no, oh, nobody, anything kind of energy, you know, Sagittarius is getting into the want business and that's when you get the right King upright, right? So when you have a King come in, when you're already that queen and I love Queens and tarot because that is, you're in the creation. You're like, you're manifesting. You're, you're literally in a magician uh, mode. Um, you're going to attract a very high vibrational energy who already has the things that you are creating because you're looking above. You're probably going to attract somebody who already has what you want. You know, why would you look behind on something who has, they don't even have a 10th of what you already have. You know what I mean? You're hurting yourself at this point. And this person is going to attach to you because you're just no longer available to them. And I feel like it's honestly a karmic lesson for this person to have something available and to lose. I feel like this is, they just keep doing this over and over and over. Um, and they, they need to cut their own cycle, but you can't cut a cycle for them. And I just, that's just really what I feel. I just feel like you're manifesting a 10. And with that 10 of pentacles, it feels like a 10 of cups as well. So, I mean, I, it just depends on where you are, Sag. So if you're like, if you're still with me here and you dealt with the cycle, I feel like you're so close to a 10 of pentacles. You, you are really, you're really manifesting something solid here. And I feel like it's straight up money. I really do. But I get love too. That's the difference. I think from the other reads I get, there's a strong love connection as well. And I think some of you Sag has been single for, for quite a while, for quite a long time. But seven of wands is, man, this is a lot of attention. This is somebody who, when they finally see someone deserving of their energy, they're not going to let you go. This person would know what's good for them if you, if, if, if it was fish slapped across their face. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarians. I'm going to be doing the weekly read here soon. So you're going to have two reads today. I love you guys. Thank you once again. I hope you have a great rest of your week and take care.